Hi folks, it's Andrew Simpson with your monthly real estate update. According to PropTrack's latest report, national home prices rose for the fifth consecutive month, rising 0.3% in May. Adelaide posted an impressive 0.58% growth for the period, along with Perth is the highest performing capital city for the past 12 months. Adelaide's resilience during this period despite multiple interest rate rises is underpinned by a lower than average stock levels, which are down nationally approximately 26% and consistent buyer demand. During May, we saw more interstate buyers returning to Adelaide with the re-emergence of immigration and defence contracts Adelaide appears to be reasonably positioned for future growth and stabilisation. Heading into winter, we anticipate stock levels will even tighten further as many families plan for overseas travel and holiday, which for many have been off the table for two to three years due to the COVID pandemic. This may lead to further frustration for buyers, however, also serves as an opportunity for those remaining and wishing to sell to take advantage of lower competition. At Owens Cassily, we proudly sold 78 homes, which interestingly is comparable to the same period last year. New listings were down by 10%, which when considering that the market was down by 26%, shows that OC's growth in Adelaide marketplace continues. Lower listing volume is predominantly reflective of seller reservations of selling their property before purchasing due to availability. Hence, OC's auction clearance rate for May continues to score well above the industry average. We are seeing auctions emerge as a preferred method for sellers across all price points with an increase of 15% in all new listings for May being listed for auction. In summary, at OC, we expect stock levels to tighten over winter with a small rebound in spring. Thus, if you're planning a winter move, conditions look favourable and we would love to help you make it happen.